How many how many goals has he scored in the knockout stage of a World Cup? Don't well, ask me. That's a trick question. That's a trick question. I'll answer that for you. <laughs> no. Get your phone. Get your phone. <laughs> I'll answer that for you. None. I, I'm, again, I am not sure how you say somebody's the best of all time without him having won you know the, 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 the biggest prize. And, and maybe, okay, and even then, I then step down and say, okay, you don't have to win it, but at least set the tournament to light. Lionel Messi has not set a World Cup alight. He won best player in, in 2014, but even he knew that that was a farcical vote. Maradona, right? Maradona mm -hmm. has done well in World Cups. Mm -hmm. But Maradona also, in, in domestic campaigns, has disappeared, has, has struggled. He did absolutely zero at Barcelona. Messi, for a decade, has been through the roof for a decade, and you're going to pull the rug away Fit, oh. because he hasn't won a World Cup. My, my opinion, international football, World Cups, is the highest level of the game. What? I, How's that? Cha over How's Champions League? the highest level of the game? Yeah. I, I get, I get that, is the, that is the biggest prize in the game. Throwing biggest prize and highest level weeks. are different things. That, that, is, that is the biggest prize in the game. I, I, I don't understand. But biggest prize and highest understand. level are not. Uh, aside, from which, aside from which, the if you want to start maker. comparing Champions League and that competition, right now you've got fourth place playing in Champions League. In Maradona's day, it was the winner. That's it. It's all sorts of conundrums you can start throwing out here. The biggest prize in the game is World Cup. The highest level of the game, for me, is World Cup. Let's bring now, in Gabby. Now, if you want to have a different argument, fine. But I, I'm, not, I'm not backing down from that. Let's bring in Gab. Gab, is it fair if Argentina do miss the World Cup to rule Messi out of the greatest of all time debate? No, it's, it's, it's not fair. It's also not fair for one very simple reason. Uh, Argentina have played 17 uh, games in this uh, uh, devilish uh, process we call the South American qualifiers. Um, Messi has played in nine of them. In those nine games, uh, they won 18 points. Uh, the problem has been when he wasn't there. In the eight games uh, that he didn't play in through injury and through suspension, uh, they've only won seven points. In other words, when he's not there, uh, they're an awful, awful team. When he's there, uh, they're pretty close to Brazil in terms of in terms of production. And I think it's as, and I think it's as simple as that. You know, beyond that, uh, you can say, oh, look, Messi hasn't won a World Cup. Uh, yeah, but he got to the finals of three consecutive major tournaments in the two Copa Americas uh, and the World Cup. And guess what? He didn't lose any of them in the 90 minutes. So, you know, you can turn this any which way, any way, which way you like. I think you have to look beyond, uh, you know, one month every four years, which thus far has only happened, what, three times? Well, three times in his career, but 2006 doesn't really count because he was a kid. The, the problem with some of the numbers that Gap is throwing out is that you don't take into consideration the fact that he was there playing at home against Venezuela, that he was there playing at home against Peru, and that Argentina failed to get three points in both of those matches. No, I don't know. I don't care the face that you're okay. making. I don't Peru, care about the Peru. face that you're making. Mar uh, Mar uh, Maradona. Hey, Maradona. Oh, no, if you run into a goalkeeper he who plays out of his ball. skin, what are you supposed to do? No, no, wait, wait, wait a minute. He I'm the just, ball against Peru. I, I'm just, I'm just throwing out there factual information. It's not a matter of opinion. It's a factual information. Was he there or not there against Venezuela at home? Yes. Was he there or not there against Peru at home? Yes. Would you expect Argentina to beat both of those teams when you have the best player in the world? Yes, you would. That's fact. That's fact. That's right. not, that's not, that's not opinion. That, that's not, that that's not some speculation. But this is a low-scoring game, Ali. The fact that the Venezuelan keeper had the game of his life and, and the guy Gallese or whatever from Peru was, was arguably even better, uh, at least certainly in the second half, uh, this rules Messi I'm not out gonna, of the greatest God, of all time God, I'm not going to sit here and make excuses for Argentina <laughs> as to why they're not making it to the World Cup. They should be able to beat Venezuela at home. They should be able to beat Peru at home. If about he, Messi. No, here's the thing. But is he not, part, is he not part of hold Argentina? Yeah, what if, Messi, if Messi's basically sticking it on a plate for, for the rest of his teammates and they don't take it, you can't blame no, him. No, I'm not blaming him. I'm saying that this situation spreads all over. 
I mean, when it rains, it rains on all the players in Argentina, not just on Messi. Hey, 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 here's the thing, though. We, we're taking a team game and trying to mm -hmm. anoint an individual. So with, without question, you're taking a set of circumstances that varies and trying to make a judgment on it, which inevitably will, you interpret how you see fit. Now, I, I, again, unless we're able to take Lionel Messi and put him into those Argentina 86 teams or take Maradona and put him into this one, we, we, we're just barking up trees at, at this point. I, and I maintain, I maintain, for me, through the levels, through the years, through the different eras, through the different players. The one thing, in my opinion, that remained consistent is that the World Cup is the highest level of the game. And, and to your point, Shaq, if you go across sports disciplines, if you go into whatever sport you want to go into, in order to be considered the best at your discipline, whatever that discipline is, you have to win that big prize. You, you have that, to win that big Shaq prize. Shaq, you just started by saying it's a team game. Let me follow up on the team game. <laughs> How much of this comes down to Jorge Sampaoli? Three games as the manager, no wins. We got reports now that he's going to leave Mauro Icardi and Paulo Dybala on the bench again for the game against Ecuador. I mean, you have Messi and you have other players, and they haven't been having results under him. Uh, I, I go back to the lack of well, consistency across the board in Argentina. Uh, lack of consistency in the federation. Lack of consistency in the coaching position, the manager position. They go and get a guy, that's not the guy. They go and get another guy, that's not the guy. They go and get another guy, that's not the guy. And you look at players on the field that are underperforming uh, when they come to the national team. Because they're superstars everywhere else. They come to the national team and that jersey gets really tight. And that pressure ramps up, and those players are not able well, to perform. Well, we know perform. why Higuain gets tight. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Stevie Nickel body shit. Yeah. <laughs> and so, the, uh. I, I look at, at, at Argentina as a disappointment because this is not just over the last couple of months. This is a process when you go into World Cup qualifying in South America that takes three years. Three years and change. And in three years and change, they haven't figured it out. There's a lot of fingers to be pointed in many different directions, not just Jorge Sampaoli.